What's up my friends and welcome back to your daily dose of Fortnite here in the Happy Power Channel. In today's video I have for you guys some Season 4 information as well as showcase for you guys a whole bunch of brand new leaks for Season 4, the Battle Pass, brand new skins, concepts and so much more. So without that being said my friends, let's hop right into today's video. Alrighty guys, so welcome back. Before we get into today's video, I just want to let you guys know the giveaway is still ongoing down in the description down below. If you're new to the channel, me and my good friend Tovenom are giving away the two of the brand new skins, the tomato skin. So in case you guys want to enter that giveaway down in the description down below, all you guys got to do is like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel with notifications on, and spam stay happy in the comment section down below. But with the giveaway out of the way, let's get right into the good stuff. So the first thing I want to get to in today's video is pretty much talking about Season 4, the concepts, and what's going to happen with the brand new meteorite. So as you guys know, a few days ago, I actually posted a video pretty much talking about a possibility of a brand new map. Well, in today's video, we're going to debunk that and let you guys know that a brand new map, unfortunately, is not in the works for Fortnite Battle Royale, and especially not from China. The video I posted two days ago, actually happened to be, and debunked, was pretty much is Epic Games is going to expand over to China or Beijing and stuff like that and pretty much open the servers to Chinese people. So sorry about that, my friends. Uh, it pretty much just seemed like that was going to be a brand new map, but it actually turns out, thanks to this brand new article, and also thanks to the lead designer Eric Williamson from Epic Games, he actually debunked that theory, and we're going to get to that in today's video, so let's hop right into the article. So it says down below, a fresh map for Fortnite. Battle Royale isn't high on the agenda at the moment, according to the Fortnite Battle Royale lead designer Eric Williamson. While parts of Fortnite's vast audience continue to speculate about the possibility of new maps, and competing Battle Royale juggernaut player unknown battlegrounds is in the process of adding a third map, Williamson said there is no currency and no rust to add a brand new map to Fortnite Battle Royale, meaning there's pretty much going to be no brand new map my friends. So sorry about that once again in my previous video, I let you guys know there was a possibility of a Beijing map coming to the game, but it actually turns out, and you guys are going to find out in a few minutes from now, it's actually just Fortnite and Epic Games opening their servers or creating new servers for the Chinese. So continuing on with the article, it says, we've talked a bit about this internally. Williamson explained to IGN's expert mode. We just had a big map update and we learned a lot through that process. Unfortunately, there's no urgency for us to create a new map right now. This is not a priority right now. Whereas continue to evolve the map and make it feel fresh is something we are very excited and interested about. So stay tuned for that. We have some interesting ideas planned for the future. So that's all I have for you guys for that article. Now let's talk about it. So essentially, he pretty much just announced and debunked a theory of a brand new map as well as pretty much letting us know that a brand new map is not going to come to the game after this meter actually does strike down. In fact, even if it does strike down to the map. So there's actually two viral theories going around the Fortnite community. Uh, one of them was actually the brand new map, which is completely debunked. The second one is the meter that's going to come down and create a brand new point of interest. And upon actually doing so, what is going to what's going to be replaced with Fortnite Battle Royale, or what's going to be replaced with Tilted Towers if the meter does strike there? Well, of course, it's not going to be a brand new map, as they actually just announced. There is no brand new map in the works, especially not for Beijing, China. So it could be anywhere from a brand new point of interest, a brand new game mode, or anything like that, as there is some leaked files that actually point towards a brand new game mode. So the brand new game mode impact was actually part of the 12 brand new game modes we actually leaked on this YouTube channel within the past month or so. Now with this brand new game mode, of course it's called impact. So many people are actually speculating that the brand new game mode is going to actually come from the brand new meteorite coming down and striking tilted towers. Or of course some other point of interest. Now of course that's not 100% confirmed, but we can put 2-2 two two together and it does actually seem like this would be a possibility and of course it seems like it would actually be this. But of course I'm curious to see what you guys think about this down in the comment section down below. Do you guys think that the brand new meteorite is going to create a brand new game mode, a brand new point of interest, if not both, or something like that? Make sure you guys leave your opinions down in the comment section down below. Now something that was actually very interesting also that's happening in the game currently is with the brand new save the world map in the desert, the brand new mission is pretty much centered towards the space theme and of course aliens. So does this mean it's actually a hint towards a possibility of the brand new theme for season 4 being an alien theme? It actually would make sense and also would make sense that it could be a dinosaur theme as well as the meteorite on earth did take out the dinosaurs and we have been getting a whole bunch of brand new dinosaur skins themed. So there's so many speculations and so many things that could happen in this game of Fortnite and we're not really sure what's going to be it completely but we can speculate and of course put two and two together. So in case you guys have no idea as to what I'm talking about, I'm going to play some dialogue for you which basically explains everything I just talked about in today's video and everything I just explained a few seconds ago upon the brand new save the world mission, the aliens and so much more. It pretty much explains a whole bunch of crazy stuff and I just want to play it for you guys. So Lars, what's the story? Carlos was always tracking something in the night sky. Right before the storm, he saw something that really shook him up. What? Don't know. 
That's what I'm looking for, and I'm not going to find it without a telescope array. Bonus challenge success! Good job, team! Here we go! Good luck, Lars! <laughs> Lars is alive! Whoa! Or super excited about being a ghost! <laughs> I can't believe I made it! Whoa! Ray! Lars, you're breaking up! <laughs> no one believes you and you say that! I really mean it this time! <sighs> you need. See this! Carla! Oh! You did it! Thank you. And wherever Carlos is, he thanks you too. Well, what's it say? We're about to have some company. So there you guys have it. So you guys can definitely tell there's some sort of abduction that happens to the person that is playing in that Save the World mission. The main character or the second main character pretty much got abducted by aliens and upon after that shortly after they say we're about to get some company. Now he actually came from space so there's so many crazy things that are actually happening in Save the World and I think that Fortnite's actually teasing a brand new theme. But like I said guys, it's all speculations, it's all just putting hints together and then once again I'm curious to see what you guys think about this down in the comment section down below. Do you guys think it's a brand new theme? Do you guys think they're hinting towards something? Is there a possibility of a dinosaur slash alien theme for season 4? Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section down below. And with all that being said my friends, that's all I have for you guys in today's upload. Like I always say my friends, if you guys want to see some more videos just like this, all you guys gotta do is subscribe to the YouTube channel with notifications on. To get my latest updates, I post every single day if not twice a day, if not three times a day if you guys are lucky, and I do it primarily for your convenience. Thank you guys so much for all the support lately. We are about to hit 68,000 subscribers, so thank you guys so much for that. The link to the giveaway is down in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for that, and I will see you guys in my next upload. Stay happy, my friends.